Spaceships is a local band proudly celebrating their 10th anniversary. We sat down with the members of the band, Nat and Ben, to talk about their journey and their brand new album. Take a look. We have an album in front of us. Yes. We, if if the, the, the young people at home don't know what <laughs> these are, cassettes as well. Yes. Okay, but we have to dive in. Talk we a little bit in. about Spaceships. Uh, so we have been around town for about 10 years. Really? Uh, yeah, our first show ever, like he and I did our first uh, show as a two-piece back in February of 2013. Mm -hmm. And he is not the drummer of the band. <laughs> he was the drummer of the band for that one, for show. one show. For the one, one night only. Because our other drummer was not, able, <laughs> not around. Um, then we released uh, our first record, uh, this guy here, I'm a Storm at Sea, which is just repressed for his 10th anniversary. In a lovely cassette. Tape. In a lovely cassette from Friend Club Records. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've just kind of been putzing around town, playing local shows and still putting out music and booking shows and running festivals as well, I guess. And Doing so, all of it for a decade. Yeah. Uh, you were there for the one night only and now you're yeah. sitting with us. So wh yeah. what was that journey like for, for you to be a part of the fun? Yeah, so uh, Nat and I met uh, at Steak, and, Steak Shake, and Shake and w he explained that he was working on some music and I said, <laughs> I can play any instrument, which wasn't true. Uh, so <laughs> Lofty promises. Mm -hmm. So I've moved You played from, sax on the new album. That's now. true. So I've moved from drums and then bass and mm -hmm. now second guitar and saxophone. And keys. And keys. And so it was, yeah. there was an element of truth. <laughs> the drums just really wasn't true. It so. wasn't we, true. Yeah. We had another drummer at the time. He just couldn't make that one show, which I don't know why we didn't just reschedule it. It's, you know what? It's the life in the music business. So it goes. When you have so a venue goes. and an audience ready and willing, <laughs> you do not want to miss that opportunity. But talk yeah. a little bit about the creation of Ruins. Yeah, so I tried really hard not to write this album. Um, the pandemic came and locked down. We had another album, actually, that was about to come out, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is really great timing. Mm -hmm. We had a, a tour that we were putting together and then uh, the world you know, stopped. The world stopped. And so we're just like, I guess the tour is not happening. And I guess band practice isn't happening for a while. And I'm just going to try to mm -hmm. occupy myself with other things because I will just write and write and write and write. And then just I, the last thing I wanted to do is like get back together and I thought three months mm -hmm. and say, oh yeah, here's a record. And what ended up happening was we got back together in a year and a half or so. And I said, so guys, there's a record. <laughs> and right. so, um, but then we just recorded it all in my house um, and just kind of brought the guys in one at a time and did track by track and redid a lot of tracks mm -hmm. over a couple of years. <laughs> And but then, what a compilation to have the that time frame where we all collectively had our world stop. Yeah. And then you have this album that was a, a product of it, but then also the collaborative journey, bringing the musicians a little bit uh, one at a time and, yeah. and bring them in to record. Well, the album cover as well. Yes. Let's talk about the artwork. Uh, this is from a local artist here in town named Katie Nice, who uh, I, be I believe her stuff might be at the Snite mm -hmm. right now if you see it. Mm -hmm. She's in a, a gallery in Chicago right now as well. Um, but I saw this piece at the uh, regional art, or not the regional art museum, downtown art museum uh, at a local showcase years ago. I think I had it saved on my phone from like 2016 or something like that. And I was like, I really want to use this. We need it. I really want to use this we sometime. It. And then it just <laughs> ended up uh, fitting the, the feel of everything so well. It's just like I sent her a message uh, a year ago or so. I said, hey. So, mm -hmm. you know this painting, could I? Could can I, we uh, have that for the I? album cover? Because, <laughs> yeah. so also this is recently released, yes. you know, so you wrote it, you might have written it during the pandemic, but now it's available, but yes. available only on vinyl, right? Is uh, that it's, no, it's, I mean, physically, that's the physically. only physical okay. one. You can stream it We're not it getting this it. one on cassette. No, unfortunately, <laughs> it's a lot more expensive to do the cassettes. Or it's a lot more expensive than cassettes. Mm -hmm. And so until, uh, you know, these get paid off, there's not going to get. <laughs> so to be able to hold it in your hands, you want you need, it on vinyl, yeah. but you can stream it. Tell us how. You can stream it. We're on all the places, you know, Spotify, Apple Music, 
Uh, I, is Deezer still a thing? Napster? I Who knows? <laughs> However you get your music, Bear share. you can <laughs> stream your music. So let's make sure our viewers get some more information so that they can stream yes. it. Also check out some of their upcoming mm -hmm. performances. We want to you know keep up to date. So we're going to throw that website right there on your screen. But easy enough, you can also find Spaceships on social media and also any streaming platform that you enjoy.